She's in love with herself. She likes the darkness. Now, we don't like the human species as a whole. As you know, shit comes in all colors, you know? There's white shit, there's black shit, there's red shit and yellow shit. And we just don't like people in general, you know? My goal is to never have to see anyone else for the rest of my life, you know, somewhere down the line. If I can make enough money from music, uh, money to me represents independence. It doesn't mean that I can go out and buy a sports car. It means that I can pack my bags, find some nice little place where me and my girlfriend can go and not have to be bothered with uh, small-minded people. Really, a lot of the people that were protesting Typo Negative had never even heard the album. And rather than listen and decide for themselves, they just chose to listen to somebody else and join the crowd. It is uh, very popular to hate Typo Negative. I admit, the album is quite uh, diversified. And I think people would have to view it with an open mind, which I know will be very difficult to do. You know, judging the people I've met over the last three years. Uh, but I hope that they listen through it and uh, give it a, a fair appraisal before they condemn it. There was no message with this album, no, no goal. I'm not trying to tell people what to do or trying to make them think. I write songs from my heart. These songs give me pleasure. The band likes the songs. That is all that matters to me, is that we like to play them. We like to record them. What people think after they buy the album does not matter to me at all. Well, it's a, it's a very dark album, and I know that, that there are some very down people out there that can maybe find some satisfaction knowing that there, there are other people, such as myself, that feel the way that, that they do. And, you know, if that can help them through these times, any, then that's great, because uh, nobody wants to be alone in, in their grief, in their misery. So if I can add some comfort, I suppose that would make me happy. It's safe to say that we are influenced by all the bands of the late 60s and the early 70s, Beatles, Black Sabbath, Doors, Zeppelin, Cream, anything from like 1965 to 1975. But we, we are not trying to jump on any bandwagon. We actually try to jump off the bandwagon. Whenever we see a trend happening, we try to go the other way because we don't want to be just, just like everybody else because that's too easy to do. Uh, I think that I have been, I am, and always will be a frustrated person. And happiness to me does not come too often. And usually I draw my songwriting from anger, sadness, pain, hostility. It's, uh, it is what motivates me.